Ayop and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to Lads Weekend. I'm off to meet Gavin and Nige and we're going to have a Lads Weekend. We're going away. It's going to be epic. Um, apologies for no vlogs for the last couple of days, no updates, but as you can probably see behind me, it has snowed. We've had snow days the last couple of days and you guys know me, I love snow, so I've just kind of made the most of it really. I haven't worried about vlogging, I've just immersed myself in the white stuff. It's been great. Uh, how can you not like snow days? I mean, days off work, me and my girlfriend, unexpected days off. I mean, they call it snow day, really. They should be calling it bloody copious copulation day. It's been epic. Um, but now the snow is melting and we move on to other stuff. I'm going away with the lads, which actually is the perfect blend. You know, a couple of days with the wife and then offer some man time. It works. If you spend too much time with the wife, too much of a good thing, a good thing can go bad. So it's always good to have moderation in your life. And that's what I'm going to get this weekend. Um, I'm off to Gav's flat where Big Nigel will be meeting me. And then we're going to travel down to Devon to see our mate who, um, he's been on us for a while to go down there. He's got like a massive place and a pig and stuff. So um, yeah, it should be good. We are on the train. Um, I thought I'd show you my supplies. Uh, so it's like an hour train journey to where we're going. So you need a fair bit. I've got myself a Viz, uh, probably the best comic in the world. Very funny. I've got myself egg mayo and bacon sandwich. Uh, Jack Daniels, just, you know, let the fun begin. Um, pack of Rizzlers there for Gav. Uh, raindrops, absolutely delicious. Uh, giant mega double lolly um, part of the meal deal there obviously sort of doing your crisps and an orange juice lovely job that should hopefully keep me going for the next hour I'm waiting at Taunton train station I don't know whether you can see behind me this is the ever-changing face of the British Railways Dashi it is a sushi place sushi sandwiches and snacks I mean who is buying sushi at a bloody railway station. Honest to God, you'd be better off bringing a pack of bloody fish fingers with you, letting it defrost, and it's probably still going to be fresher than the sushi you'd buy at a railway station. You are pissed or mental if you're eating that. Right, exciting times. Uh, where we are staying is proper out in the country, and there is a boatload of snow around still, which is awesome, and we are on our way down to feed the pig. Uh, literally couldn't be more excited about this. Uh, that thing you can hear in the background that I thought were the goose a minute ago is actually a tiny little dog barking in the snow, having the time of his life. Waiting for the pig, I'm very excited. <laughs> it's all happening quick now. There it is. It is emerging. Look at that. What's the pig's name? Pig. Pig. That's a good name for a pig, it is. Hello, pig! And the other pig's also called pig. Oh, you got two pigs? Yeah. Two pigs. It's two pigs. Pig and pig. You said three pigs called pig, pig and pig. Now pig, pig, pig. Hello, pig! Oh. Come on! <laughs> this is a female, yeah? Is she friendly? Are they yeah, friendly? Yeah, she's very friendly, yeah. <laughs> She's very friendly. She looks a bit pensive at the moment, like she's thinking, who the hell are these people? I'm not going to charge us. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, she doesn't look like she could move that fast. Yeah. The way she was walking down. Put you out the way. Mm. All warm, aren't you? All warm. Look at that. Is that like a Chinese potbelly pig? Oh, cooney cooney. Cooney cooney. Sorry, Sounds almost cooney. vaguely racist, that does. <laughs> I don't know, but... That is an attractive pig, isn't it? Look at that, all furry and stuff, that face. Can I stroke her? Quite like to uh, make a snowball and get Gav with it. He gets proper eggy about stuff like that, and I've already got him once. So let's see if I can catch that on camera. right down the back of his neck oh he's gonna be so cross about that that was great i've got to say big fan of the pig um both of the pigs actually lovely creatures um the snow was wonderful snowball fights gave gav a proper beast in um it's been a good day so far and we're gonna go down the pub in a little while have some drinks and some dinner
Right, I popped outside to do my little vlog up there. It's getting a bit loud in there. People really love the rugby. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm glad England are winning, but come on, it's not football. Um, I've had a few pints now. I'm having an awesome time, and I'm so excited about my food. A homemade pie. Uh, it sounds just a job right now. I'm hoping that when I go back in, my food will be waiting for me. That is one of the best feelings in the world. Um, top three, I would say, right up there with, obviously, ejaculation, um, sneezing, and then your food being there where you're starving and you come back in and it's just there, fragrant, looking just gorgeous, and yeah, God, I hope that happens. There we go, look at that, some work of art, homemade pie, chicken, bacon, mash, veg, and a side order of chips. Up, right, I am fully dressed and properly awake now, a little bit more ready to vlog. I've had a cup of coffee, although the hangover is it's there, I'm not going to lie to you. I just thought I would clarify the sleeping arrangements, uh, just make sure you know that obviously I was in my own room and not with Gav. Uh, so this is my room, uh, as for where I slept, um, we go down the hallway. Um, this is Nigel's room, that's where Nigel slept, and obviously down here that's right, on. And that is where Gav stayed um, I just want to make it clear because I know what you guys are like you all like oh bloody Callum was hectically bombing Gav all night long you slept together and stuff we didn't we're all in separate bedrooms it's a heterosexual lads weekend away it's good look at this one of the finest sights in the world all the implements to cook a full English breakfast if you're ever wondering, you know, when you reach the age of 30 and over, if the fun stops, it absolutely doesn't. Big Nigel's here, you know, after a lad's night out, he's uh, kicking back with a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. The fun never stops. <laughs> Unwinding with a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle, just to ease your hang over there. He's, he's not got very far. That little corner there. My God, I have just had the best shower of my life back in there. Absolutely incredible. Check it, there's no reflection of my buttocks or anything. I think you can only see the top half of me. Uh, incredible shower, incredible shower. Huge, great big shower head above my head. And it's big enough for me to actually stand up in, so it's got some height to it. And then like, what is it? <clears throat> Four, six other nozzles just pointing their jets on various parts of my body. Demolished a block of bloody dove soap in there. I don't think I've ever been so clean in my life. My head is shiny. Honest to God, you could you could eat your dinner off my anus. And I'm not just talking about the crack or something in the cheek. Actual anus, you could eat your dinner off and it would be as clean as you like. Honestly, this is next level cleanliness that I'm at at the moment and I'm loving it. Back in Bristol, not even out of the train station and I can already smell the flipping falafel. Disgusting. Right, the holiday is coming to an end. We are back on familiar ground. We're back at Gav's. Uh, stopped at McDonald's for a quick double bacon cheeseburger, you know, a bit of refueling. Uh, we're here now for the FIFA Championship, the crown. I started strong, smashed Nige, um, and then Gav has somehow fluked to win, so I'm off at the moment. Um, obviously, it's always the best of three. Winner stays on. Um, I want to win this. It's gonna. It's gonna be the end note of a whole kind of weekend away. I want to be champion. It'll be like perfect cherry on the cake. <laughs> you can hear Gav's laughter. It's happened. I've lost. Um, there's not much to say about that, really. I've just got to take that. Occasionally, Gav will win, and tonight is one of those occasions. Your happiness has put a real dampener on this whole thing. It really has. I don't like your happiness. Uh, yeah, he flukes it. He flukes it, basically. Hey, up. Right, I'm back in Bristol, and I have been for the last couple of days. Uh, apologies for lack of uploads, but I got back, and I was a little bit down. You know what it's like, post-holiday blues and stuff. And then suddenly I realised, like, Callum, why are you just moping around working and stuff? Like, you've got some time coming off. Get yourself in gear. You said this was going to be your year. You are going to make music, so that's what you should be doing. Um, and I had this, like, epiphany. I was walking around thinking, you know, OK, I'm going to go make music. What song shall I do? Shall I do my, you know, my heartfelt rap or something? And then it hit me. 
the fetid fog of falafel just drifted over to me and it suddenly it all became clear. It's time to do to the vegans what I did to the bloody nonces. I am going to do my anti-vegan song. I've literally just got off the phone to my producer. I've booked in studio time. I'm leaving this afternoon. For the last few days, I've literally been on the bus just scribbling away like, like Eminem or something from 8 Mile. I've just been scribbling my verses and stuff. The song is finished. It's ready. I'm going home now. I've finished work and I'm getting out to the Isle of Wight and I'm getting into the studio. This is how happening um thank you all of you for watching the vlog hopefully you've enjoyed it if you did be kind to leave a thumbs up if you didn't do leave a thumbs down i just want to know your honest opinions um and yeah obviously i'll be back with you with more vlogs uh me in the studio and stuff and i am working on my next meme review so if you have got anything you want me to watch do leave it below in the comment section